Hello there and welcome again uh, to another video. I um, I've been checking out the videos on my channel and for some reason the the video of the H and K SFP9 or the VP9 in United States uh, it's not doing any good. Um, just trying to vindicate that a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the other video is in quite poor quality. I don't know why that happened, but it just happened. So I'm gonna try one more time to do uh, a video of the HK SFP9 um, Strike a Fire Pistol. I do like it. Um, we will get more into that quite soon, but the, um, at the end of the video, I will be. Uh, I already went to the shooting range and fired uh, a few mags with it, both in uh, real speed and also in slow motion. And uh, even if I'm not uh, sponsored, I have to just say this um, the magtech uh, i'm shooting it later in the video magtech 9f if you uh, haven't tried this cartridge uh, or ammo you should uh, if you can find it give it a try it's a lot of fun um, a hell of a bang and uh, if you shoot it at night or darkness you will see a fireball that is uh, impressive. It's uh, really fun to shoot this. And very manageable as it's only 95, 95 grains. So that's a tip from me. From me. Well, the HNK SFP9, uh, called uh, VP9 in the United States. I'm not gonna do a review on it because it's there's a lot of better reviews out there, but I'm just going to point out, out a few things and how to improve it. And also how to make it really look good uh, with this. The rail mounted compensator from uh, HK Parts. Got my hands on one and if you don't have a HK P30 you can uh, use this gun and it becomes like a John Wick gun. It's really nice. First of all, empty. Put the mic there. What I've done, the only thing that I did with this uh, is this gripping tape. I put on. This is like you find in, uh, like, uh, yeah, general, uh, how can I say it? Hardware stores. Uh, it's like uh, the gripping tape that are on outside stairs and stuff. And I cut it into pieces and uh, put it on. It feels amazing in my hand. I can really. promote that it's really nice and uh, as many of you know the grip on the H and K is yeah I have felt nothing better it's it's perfect and you can change the the grip plates and the back strap and uh, but I found mine and I, then I put the grip tape on and you should buy this a magwell from also from hk parts uh, if you put that on it just it just makes everything like a complete it just fits in your hand so perfectly it's amazing and i brought along the my glock 17 long even now that i uh, i put a Hogue 
like a hog condom on if you so I get some grooves there but otherwise the Glock grips especially the Gen 1's like this one is just a blocky straight grip nothing ergonomic about it at all even even though I like this Glock 17L but you cannot compare it to these uh, H&K's the, the grip is just phenomenal so is the trigger but those uh, that are reviewing it and shooting a lot more than me should uh, should uh, do it a lot better and uh, know all the techni technical things about it but for me the, the trigger is awesome also so the rail mounted compensator uh, uh, first <clears throat> This is um, this is a quite short barrel on this one. This is like the equivalent to the Glock 19, I would say. So um, for longer ranges, it's not the it's not the best accuracy, but for dynamic shooting, I'm pretty sure that this H and K would suit perfectly and that's what I'm gonna use it for so I bought this then the rail mounted compensator just slips on the on the grooves there under the gun you see there you put it on real real tight then you drop in this to secure it you have to screw it in place Whoop. like so and that's quite good because then you have a Picatinny rail even under the compensator you can attach a laser or a, or a light or a combo or whatever you want and then suddenly it becomes more like the John Wick P30 and also that John Wick had a compensator on his just makes it more cool it looks a bit weird though when you put it up like this because it as it's not part of the gun it looks like it looks a bit weird but it works perfectly fine one thing i should mention i used to have a i used to have a optic fiber uh, front sight and the back sight side also if you put the the compensator on the blast that comes up here with each each shot will melt the optic <laughs> fiber uh, uh, the fiber uh, fiber sight so I just lost it it just melted away and uh, I had to install the original ones but they are quite good anyway so it doesn't matter but think about that if you buy a uh, by the compensator it will eventually melt away the the fiber and with this compensator on it gets quite similar to the Glock 17 L even though the barrel on this one the Glock is 6 inches and this is only 5 uh, I don't know 5 and a quarter or something like that so it doesn't increase the range of course because a longer barrel bar barrel makes it more accurate but 
it just becomes a really cool gun and I think if you if you own a H and K SFP9 or BP9, these are two additions that you should get. So I will uh, just uh, let you move on to the shooting part of the video. Hope you all stay safe and. Uh, have a good one. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to the shooting part of this video. Shooting the HK SFP9 with the rail mounted compensator. Before we get started, I would just want to say um, that I'm gonna fire. First, a couple of uh, rounds, uh, 124 grains, uh, nothing oh, like the normal ones, and then I will have a mag of the Magtech 9F. If you can find this uh, cartridge, you have to try it. It's a lot of fun. So let's get started. And now the Magtech 9F. See if you can spot any difference. Oh, what fun it is. <laughs> 